Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to Season 10 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. It is time for a new Direwolf20 pack. This is the Direwolf20 pack for version 1.16.4 of Minecraft. Uh, very excited. It seems like it's been forever since we've had a new Direwolf20 pack available. Uh, I'm really excited for the 1.16 modding landscape. Looking forward to see uh, all the mods that are available now, all the mods that are up and coming. Uh, super hyped. So without further ado, let's get in, let's start creating a world, and uh, we're going to talk about what mods are in the pack now, what mods are coming up, and all kinds of cool stuff that's coming. I'm very excited, as you can probably tell by my voice, that we've got a new Double 20 pack available, so let's do the thing. All right, so as you can see, I've got a test world here that I was playing with earlier just to make sure everything was ready. Um, so let's start up a Let's Play world. Uh, we're going to keep it uh, difficulty hard, sounds good, survival mode, cheats are off. Uh, and I'm going to use a specific seed for you guys, so if you want to play along with me, you can. Um, I'll also be doing world downloads every 10 episodes, uh, just like I have in the past with some series. Um, and hopefully that'll work out pretty well. I know it kind of petered off with the FTB Interaction series I just wrapped up, but uh, the, the world downloads will, will definitely be coming for this one. So let's do DW20 LP116. Super hype. That sounds fun. All right, create new world. Let's see what we get. Um, so yeah, this is, this is the first iteration. This is actually a beta version of the FTB pack. Uh, for Dial 20. Uh, worked closely with the FTV team to come up with a list of mods that should be in there. There's very few tweaks as usual. Uh, the, the mods are kind of just, you know, meant to be played as they're meant to be played, so there's not a lot of changes to the way the mods work. Um, so let's get in, start checking out the world that we're getting from the seed that I chose. Uh, if you guys want to use the same seed and play along, that's totally cool. And then uh, what I'm going to do is tell you guys about all the different mods that are in the pack. So first... Let's see what kind of world we got. Come on, give me a good one. Give Dyer a good world. I'm thinking like a nice plains biome right next to a desert. Oh, wow, that is actually a plains biome right next to a desert. Okay, that's exactly what I was kind of hoping. I personally love the idea of being in a plains biome right next to a desert, and I think that's exactly what we got. Holy cow. Hey, we already know one of the mods in the pack, don't we? Uh-huh, uh-huh, there's a little bit of astral, and I think we see some Batania things and all kinds of stuff. Wow, this is not at all a bad start to the to the series. I'm very excited about this seed, actually. Dude, check this out. We're right next to a desert. How great is that? How great is that? I love it. My goodness. So, lots of things to check out. Uh, you know, we should do kind of the thing that you're supposed to do when you start a new world. Start start punching wood. That's kind of the best bet. Um, and, and while we're doing that, I think I'll talk to you guys a little bit about uh, the mods that are currently in the pack uh, and what we've got planned for this thing. All right, the official punching of the wood. The very first. <laughs> very cool. So, uh, what mods do we currently have in the pack? Oh boy, do we have a lot of mods. Uh, I think we saw on the title screen there was like 170-ish. Um, basically, what, what I do when I pick out the mods for my mod pack, I, I check out what's on Forgecraft, I see what mods are popular, um, and, and, and I also talk with the FTB team. They have released a, a kitchen sink pack themselves just recently, so I kind of looked through the mod list that they were using, um, you know, and, and received some suggestions from some people in the community, and came up with a pack that I think is pretty cool. Um, my goal with the pack is to be a kitchen sink style pack, meaning that it's really just a bunch of mods all mushed together. There's not like a like a like an overall theme. There's not like you know uh, uh, an overarching you know design to what the pack should be. It's literally just here's Minecraft with a whole bunch of cool mods. Go play and have fun, right? It's not it's not like a sky block or it's not like a challenge pack. Um, and the, and the mods are designed to be played as intended by the mod author. So there's not a lot of tweaks or customizations to the way the mods work. I want you guys to be able to learn. Uh, how to play the mods yourselves, uh, you know, without being too worried uh, about, you know, well, if I learn it in Direwolf pack, it ain't going to work in any other packs because he changed the way mods work. Like, that's not the intention uh, of, of, the, of the pack, right? So that's where we're at. What mods are in here, you ask? Oh, boy, that is a good question. Uh, so first off, I'm just going to get myself the old crafting table, uh, and I'm going to find myself a place to live. What I'm liking is that there's kind of a hill right here. 
I like this because I'm thinking what we could do. Oh man, there's even like a beehive right here. I mean, I'm guessing there's a beehive if there's a bee flying around. Mm -hmm. uh, we could we could chill right inside this hill, and this could be like a nice little starter home for us. Um, just to just to get started, right? Just to get situated. That might not be terrible. Okay. Yeah, I like that idea. Oh yes, digging with wooden pickaxes is definitely the best. Can I have a mining laser just yet? Probably not. All right, well, there we go. Advancement, getting an upgrade. Uh, so let's go through the mod list real quick, right? While we're while we're getting situated and, oh yay, coal, nice. Not a bad start. Not I am like lucking out on this seed, aren't I? Literally the first hill I dig into, there's, there's coal three blocks in. All right, so mods. Uh, first, I'm just going to kind of go in alphabetical order, right? So in, in no particular just alphabetical order. Um, absent by design. That is a mod that adds a bunch of um, uh, fences and gates and, 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 and stuff. Let's see. Does it show up in here? Yeah. So basically, um, you know, stairs and, and fences and walls and stuff that you don't typically get in vanilla Minecraft, it adds. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm not a decorator, as you know, but I'm I'm sure many people who play this pack will be decorators, I hope. So, uh, you know, the goal was to make sure that there's a little something for everybody in this pack. Uh, let's see. Uh, Apple skin, I don't think is going to be uh, a mod that shows up in the list, but that's the one that shows you, I believe, your, your, your hunger and saturation levels, right? Apple skin shows you your saturation levels. I'm pretty sure that's what that mod does. Uh, but we did just see Applied Energistics 2 is in the pack, of course. Um, so a, a staple of the modded community for goodness, years now. Uh, Applied Energistics was kind of the first mod to change the way storage works, right? Flip it on its head. For the longest time, we had storage that was just simply, you know, chests and, and an extension of chests, right? So different iterations of chests. Applied Energistics was really the first one that was like, how about instead of chests, we do digital storage, something a little different. And that was pretty cool. I remember the first time I saw Applied Energistics and I said to myself, like, this is different. Okay. Like, I, it completely just broke my brain. I was just, what in the world is this? This looks cool. So we're going to build like a little, clear out a little area here just to live in, just to get situated, right? Um, we've also got Archer's Paradox. I'm pretty sure that is a um, mod from King Lemming. I think pretty sure it's King Lemming's mod, right? Archer's Parabox uh, uh, gives you a bunch of different types of arrows. Just a fun little mod. Should be cool. Should be neat. Architectury. Um, why? I'm not seeing anything in here for that, but uh, I think that's like an architecture type of mod. I'm trying to remember exactly how it works. I remember looking at it and saying like, oh, this is cool. I think it's another building style mod, right? Um, so that's neat. What I would really love, though, if I could, would be to find a sheep just so I can sleep through the night pretty quickly. Yay for torches. Booyah. Looking good already. Looking good already. Are there any sheep nearby, perchance? I'm looking on my mini-map up there to see what's up. I see wolves. I mean, that's a good start. Uh, lots of cows, which is nice. I will probably hold off on killing them so that I can... Well, I might have to kill a few because I'm going to be hungry soon. But um, it would be nice to, you know, set up a cow farm and feed them and all that stuff and breed them before I start going crazy killing them. But we'll see what happens. We'll see. Uh, the other the other next mod on the list, Ars Nouveau. Uh, you guys, if you've been watching my Forgecraft series, are familiar with Ars Nouveau. Hey, dogs, what's up? What's up? Uh, Ars Nouveau is a uh, spiritual successor to Ars Magica, uh, which is a mod that, that you know we played with in, in previous series. Spellcasting and magic and all kinds of other cool stuff. Uh, super fun mod to play with. Definitely wanted to include it in the pack because you know me, I like magic mods. I definitely I like I like both magic and tech mods to be fair. Um, oh, I see sheep. I see a nice little herd of sheep that is going to both be a source of food and a bed. Cool. Uh, next one on the list, Astral Sorcery. Uh, you guys know Astral Sorcery is one of my favorite uh, magic mods out there. Definitely a cool mod, adds lots and lots of stuff. I'm pretty sure a majority of the content is implemented right now. I think there's a few things not fully in yet, but that's okay. Uh, it's totally, you know, available and, and works and, and looks pretty cool. Very excited to check it out and see all what's in there. Uh, I believe a lot, not, not too much, but a decent amount has changed. Uh, in, in the pack, 
Oh, there's like a Ars, that's a that's an Ars Nouveau guy, right? Yeah, Sylph. What's up, little dude? Hello. Um, so I think like the way crystals work has changed a bit, um, and a few other things. Sorry, pigs, but you know, a hungry dyer is hungry. Them's the breaks, kids. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, let's see. Better advancements is a mod that uh, I think makes advancements screen a little bit better, I think-ish. Um, sounds cool. Uh, blood magic, right? We're, we're, we've, we've seen blood magic. That's another staple mod. 116 has added some changes and, and tweaks to the, to the blood magic scene, and I uh, have played, again, a little bit of it on Forgecraft. Looking forward to seeing, you know, how it all works out. Um, so that's cool. Uh, bookshelf, which I think think is a is a library mod pretty sure uh but uh the next content mod we've got is batania another staple of all the Daryl 20 packs um batania definitely a cool magic mod adds tech mod right depending on who you ask uh you know it's it's kind of like a joke whether it's a magic mod or a tech mod but the gist is is that it's it's a cool mod and it's a lot of fun and uh you know personal favorite of mine cool now, do we have... I don't actually know if there's a... Oh, good. We do have Mini Cole, too. Haha. <laughs> nice. Nice. Mini Cole. Mini Cole for the win. Mini Cole absolutely for the win. And a bed. Beautiful. Just somewhere to set your spawn, right? Uh, maybe be able to sleep through the night a little bit. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. Um, let's do, uh, you know, a couple of doors. And that might be cool. Nice. And what I'll do is probably... There you go. Not terrible. Haha. <laughs> cool. All right. So we've got ourselves a little house here. Um... I'm going to do a little bit of probably mining while we continue to talk about what mods are in the pack. Uh, we talked about Batania. We've also got Botany Pots. Uh, Botany Pots, uh, you guys have seen me play with this on Forgecraft as well. Basically, um, it kind of helps automate plants a little bit. Uh, a nifty nifty way to automate plants and set up like the growing and whatnot. Uh, so super cool mod, super fun to play with. Uh, makes a little bit of uh, automation easier. Also, Botany Trees. So there's botany pots and botany trees. I think one's for uh, like plants and one's for you know other stuff. Um, that's pretty good times. Uh, so next one on the list, building gadgets. And since we're talking about gadgets, we've got all the gadgets. Uh, we've got building gadgets, uh, courtesy of me, Darwell20. That's me. I like building gadgets because I made it. <laughs> uh, we've also got mining gadgets, uh, which you guys have seen me play with. I think this is the first time in a single player let's play series and i'm actually going to get to play with mining gadgets so i'm a little excited about that right like this is the first time in a long time uh since mining gadgets has been around that i actually get to play with it all right quick nap through the night later and it is a fresh day guess what we totally have the rats mod as you can tell <laughs> so got all the gadgets in there let's do um i'm, I'm just gonna have like a little basic but let's start with uh mining down into into the depths of the world let's start getting some resources right that's kind of that's kind of how i always start off my worlds start off with a little bit of resource gathering a little bit of mining uh and and tech my way up into this game i haven't quite decided how i'm gonna start uh in this world right like what mods i'm gonna use to get started with and 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 do everything but i've got a rough idea i've got a rough, there's a few options i try to keep uh you know as many options available as i can but let's start with uh, just digging on straight down. I would love if I could. Oh, I hear an Enderman. Endermen are already getting in my way, aren't they? Isn't that what's about to happen? I hear him. You hear him? You hear the Enderman? Already causing trouble? Not excited about that for sure. <gasps> Definitely an Enderman in here. I'm in no way, shape, or form equipped to fight an Enderman or anything else. Because uh, I've got literally a very not good sword. I've got nothing good here. 
but we can try it. Ah! Who's shooting me? You are. That's cool. Whose idea was it to put this on hard? That's all I want to know. Nice. Look at this. A little bit of uh, man and artifice ore. Not bad, not bad. Found some tin from thermal. Was more hoping for iron so I could get a better pick, but, you know. Is there a tin pickaxe? I don't even know. I don't even know. It might be a tin pickaxe. Maybe I could make a pickaxe out of that. Oh, man, look at all these different pickaxes. Um... Nope, 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 no tin pickaxe, alas. I don't think tin would make a very good pickaxe, though, would it? Tin's a pretty weak, weak kind of material, isn't it? Um, so let's go back home. Oh, that, there's a little bit of iron, but I need another pickaxe anyway. Well, you know what I could do? I could just make one. There we go. Not too shabby, right? So let's talk more mods. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, so we talked about building gadgets. Um, let's see. I, I know there's a couple. There's a couple um, things. Uh, we've got computer craft CC tweaked. That looks neat. I believe that's just. Um, I'm not sure what that is. I, I know it's computer craft, obviously, but I don't know if it's like uh, you know just an, an updated. Like I don't know. I don't know where that came from, but, uh, you know, I saw that there was a computer crafty type mod, uh, and it's been a long time since we've played with computer craft, so I'm definitely interested in checking it out and seeing what's up. That sound cool? I'm excited about that. But that's just me. Uh, so we got CC tweaked, we've got charging gadgets, we talked about that, uh, which is which is another, it's a very simple mod that I made. Uh, it allows you to charge RF-based items uh, with just a simple block that you can feed coal into. So it's just coal turns into charging items. That's all it is. Uh, but it's very useful for early game. Chisels and Bits. Yeah, Chisels and Bits is back. I didn't know if we'd see that uh, updated, but it is, uh, and it's in the pack. So how cool is that? You know, you guys know Chisels and Bits. Uh, let's see, Citadel, which I'm pretty sure is a, um, is a library mod. Uh, cloth config, I think that adds a config option type stuff. Um, EXP clumps. Uh, some other library stuff. Comforts? I don't know if comforts is it actually. Oh, it is. Maybe. Comforts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sleeping bags. Nice. That's cool. Let you sleep out in the world, I presume. Not so bad. Uh, cooking for blockheads. Another, another staple that, that I've enjoyed playing with in previous packs. Definitely wanted to pull it into this pack. It basically makes it so that, you know, making different types of food is a little bit easier. It's a, it's a fun cooking mod. Sweet. Uh, culinary Construct, also a fun one. You guys have seen. It's basically uh, a way to make food. You can combine different types of foods. Uh, and that looks like a lot of fun, too. Let's see. Ooh, copper. Copper ore. Yes, sir, Thermal. The last version that will probably have modded copper ore. Because Mojang's added copper. In 117, I believe, right? Mojang's going to be adding copper keep this cave lit though for sure what else we got cyclic i think we saw that one and curios curios we've got so curios is this uh cyclic we've got adds adds a bunch of nifty items and and fun stuff Ooh, sort of squirts don't mind if i do inventory already filling up gonna need to do the whole storage thing in a bit not too far off but i'd really like to get more uh stuff appetite from thermal Appetite from Thermal. Thermal adds appetite now. You don't say. That's a thing. That's a thing I didn't super know. I think, in fairness, we added Thermal to Forgecraft late in the game, and I didn't do a lot of mining with it. But yeah, now, now that I'm seeing it, I'm thinking, yeah, they did. Yes, iron is what I'm after. That's my primary focus right now, is getting iron. Uh, we've got Dark Utilities. That's the one that adds... Uh, you know, the, the, the traps and the vector plates and all that cool stuff, right? Grates for, for animals and whatnot. So that'll be fun. Uh, let's see. There's a mod called Data Fixer Slayer. I think that kind of just helps with a little bit of performance type stuff. Uh, we've got a mod called uh, Default Options, which I think lets, you know, settings and options come down by default. So like uh, hotkeys and stuff. Good times. 
Uh, let's see, Doom Angel Ring. Yeah, I know this one. Uh, that adds an Angel Ring. That's it. <laughs> um, extra Utilities, I don't believe, has been updated. I don't think Tema has worked on any of his mods for 116. I think he's he's probably taking a break from, from modding for a bit, which I can't blame him. Uh, you know, modding is hard. It really is. There's a lot of work that goes into making these mods and making things work. So uh, a few people in the community I've noticed have, have taken bits and pieces and their favorite parts of Extra Utilities and made dedicated mods for them. So Angel Ring is a mod that literally just adds the Angel Ring from Extra Utilities. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Uh, dungeon Crawl is a mod that I think adds a bunch of world gen dungeon -y type stuff. So Dungeon Crawl uh, definitely added some exploration style mods. So I didn't want, when I was building the, the, the pack list, I wanted to make sure that we had a little something for everybody. So like there's exploration type stuff, there's building type stuff, there's tech stuff, there's magic stuff, right? So ideally there's something in this pack you will enjoy playing with. That's kind of the goal. Uh, elevator mod, which is, you know, you know me, I love my elevators. Definitely love my elevators. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, Emojiful, which I think makes it so you can have emojis. <laughs> yeah. And there's a couple creepers right in front of me. Oh, hello. Well, problem solved. Man, look at this big open cave. These caves are cool. And another creeper. I think we've got a light level overlay. Yeah, we do. Yes, F7 for your light level overlay. Oh great, there's a whole bunch of sand right on my head. Come on, man, that wasn't even close. I'm like really nervous about how much sand is right above my head there. Oh hey, I think I see daylight ahead of me. And I'm being I'm being a little pick and choosy with which ma which ores I grab and what things I do because uh, I don't need everything right now. My inventory is you know not great. Oh, hello daylight, nice, cool. I think in our map mod we can we can set some waypoints and stuff. So I'm pretty sure my house was around here-ish, right? So if I wanted to run above ground back to my base, I could, um, or I could just kind of head back this way, which shouldn't be too far. Oh, I missed some iron. Sneaky, sneaky iron. So what are the mods we got? Uh, enchantment descriptions. Uh, we've also got Ender Storage, uh, which you guys are familiar with from, from previous playthroughs, right? Ender Storage, good times. Um, that adds, you know, all the Endery things. Let's head back up to our base and start smelting up some ores. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna smelt a few uh, and then store the remaining so that we have... What is going on out here? Hello? Oh, it's a plague doctor from rats. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I know, you're invisible. Hello, plague doctor. I am the cure. I should plant some trees, too, while I'm at it. But we'll start with a couple chests, and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to have a junk chest. So basically for things, do I have a trash can? I have a trash can mod, but I don't think I have like a straight up throw things in the garbage from from the from the screen rod thing. So we'll do that. We've got some coal, which is nice. So like you're going to be junky type stuff. So stone, pebbles, sticks, marble, wool. For now, everything is junk. That's not an ore, right? Uh, once I get a better uh, system of, of storage, that'll change right and then that's that stuff and that looks good oh, nighttime again huh let's let's not let's not with the nighttime all right so let's see what we got here ready for an iron pickaxe i hope definitely definitely ready for an iron pick dun dun dun, dun. isn't it iron pick Let's do a little bit more mining while we talk about what other mods are available in the pack. Uh, so let's see, we've got uh, Ensorcelation, which adds a bunch of different, uh, you know, enchants. Uh, we've also got Entangled, which adds uh, a, a block that can, you know, be bound to other blocks. So we've seen, you know, lots of mods that have done that in the past. Uh, that's, that's definitely a good one to have in the pack. So I'm looking forward to being able to do that. I think it's been a while since I've really had a pack where I was able to do that easily. I think actually Additions had one for a bit. Um, a few other mods have had them for in the, in the past, obviously. I love that I found 
this awesome hey is that a ravine right here why yes direwolf it is wow this is like the best seed ever i literally just randomly typed this seed into the into the box and i'm very pleased that i did so let's continue going down and see if we can make our way into that ravine because that looks cool um as you guys know who've watched my Let's Play series before, we're not going to do a lot of mining on camera. Obviously, the first episode, that's about all we have to do is mining. So that's why I like to spend the first episode doing a bit of mining, but also talking about what mods are in the pack so that we have a good idea of, you know, what's what's going to be in here, right? All right, guys. Uh, so continuing to dig down here, but I think I've made it actually pretty close to down. Hello. Oh boy, that's not good. That is going to be a problem. Oh boy, more skeletons. Ah! Rip! Haha! <laughs> Already first, and definitely not going to be the last, death of the series. Uh, but hey, luckily we've got the gravestone mod. Yay! <laughs> Speaking of mods, other mods, we've got uh, entity detectors, uh, which is cool. I think they probably do something redstone-y when an entity is nearby. Helps to, helps to, to detect entities. Um, we've got environmental tech, definitely looking forward to that. Uh, extra caves, I think, makes caves a little bit cooler, so that's neat. Um, good, 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 just trying to make myself somewhere safe-ish. Hello, creeper. Gotcha. Nice. All right, just lighten up the area a little bit here. Should be cool. All right, that works for me. Uh, so we've got an environmental tech. Uh, we've got extra storage, which is an add-on, I think, to uh, Applied Energistics. We've got uh, Extreme Reactors 2. If you guys have watched my Forgecraft series, you guys have seen that a little bit. Uh, very excited to see that coming back. Uh, Extreme Sound Muffler, definitely one of the best sound mufflers I've run into, literally like right here on your screen and you get to pick uh you know which sounds you want to mute it's super cool it has a search function it's literally the best uh and you can lower or mute basically any sound in the game right from there and you can make it like only in a certain area or you can make it just globally kind of the best hey look at those cool looking glow mushroom thingies that's neat what do we got here? Sediment stone from extra caves. I'm, I'm assuming that's what the EXT stands for is extra. A few mods in here I picked because I was like, oh, they look cool, but I'm not super familiar with them yet. But they looked really neat, and I was like, yeah, let's throw them in. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so we talked about extra storage, extreme reactors, fast furnace, uh, and fast leaf decay, and fast workbench. Just mods that kind of like improve the performance of those. Find Me, which is a mod that looks you look up stuff in chess. Flat Bedrock. I love Flat Bedrock. I mean, who doesn't love Flat Bedrock? It's literally the best. Um, what else we got here? Uh, let's see. Flux Networks. Yes, Flux Networks. Definitely a cool, a uh, little bit powerful mod, but I'm okay with a little bit powerful. I'm okay with a little bit powerful. I like that. Uh, wireless RF type stuffs. Uh, what do we got here? All right, cool. Let's head down still further. So where are we at? 38-ish? Wow, we're actually not quite as far down as I thought we would be at this point. But that's okay. We will keep on keeping on. Let's see. We've got uh, a bunch of FTB mods, because uh, there's an FTB pack after all. Uh, FTB backups, FTB chunks, uh, FTB essentials, FTB GUI library, uh, FTB janitor, FTB ranks, and FTB teams. So basically all the FTB mods that make it so like... There's, there's, you know, chunk loading, map, and claiming chunks, and all that good stuff. Pretty cool. What do we got down here? Niter ore. Oh, boy, creeper. Me with literally no armor. Well, not literally, no. I do have bronze boots with, like, one durability on them that a mob just dropped, which I do appreciate. Hey, some fluorite for mechanism. Nice. Uh, speaking of, we've definitely got mechanism in the pack, but I haven't gotten there yet. Uh, let's see, glass central. Which one's that? That's one I think that adds out uh, like dark ethereal type glass. So speaking of like mods that were like, hey, I really liked that thing extra utilities did, and not many other mods do it, so let's add it. Glass central adds the extra utilities glass. So like, you know, ethereal glass, dark glass, that kind of stuff. Super glad that somebody did that, because you know me, I love my dark glass mob spawn rooms, right? Alright. 
So that's pretty cool. I don't think we're going to get through the list of all the mods in this episode. I think we're going to have to wrap it up soon. Um, but we're going to keep going because I want to make sure I talk about all the mods here. And let's do our best to not get killed again. Do our best. Uh, gravestone mod we just saw, right? Uh, makes it so when you die, there's a gravestone. Makes it a little bit easier to deal with death. Not worry about, you know, stuff despawning. Yeah, zombie. What's up? Got you. Ah! Booyah! That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, let's see. Harvest mod. I think that's like the right click to harvest crops thing. Uh, another one that I just literally can't live without. I mean, yeah. 100%. Uh, ice, ice, baby. Which one's that? I remember looking that one up and I was like, what's that do? I forget what that does. But I remember looking at it and being like, yeah, I want that. <laughs> I forget what it does. Immersive engineering. Uh, that's that's definitely a classic, right? You know, like the many multi-blocks and all that good stuff. Uh, definitely love immersive engineering. With immersive posts, we've got industrial foregoing, uh, which is another classic. And I think industrial foregoing has kind of changed uh, a bit of how it how how the start goes uh, and, and a few mechanics. So I think industrial foregoing has some new mechanics to it that we're going to be uh, checking out for sure. Um, so that's cool. Uh, inventory sorter, right? Because, yeah, very much, yes. Iron chests. Uh, item collectors. Yeah, I think that's another one. Uh, these guys are cool. They, they pick up items automatically in an area around you. Very nice. Item collectors is good stuff. Let's see what else we got. Uh... Just another void dimension and just another mining dimension. Uh, you know, mods that add exactly like they sound like they would add a mining dimension and a void dimension. Because you know Dyer, he likes his void dimension sometimes. So we'll get there at some point. I'm sure we'll have a void dimension at some point in this pack. Because void dimensions are fun. That's right, guys. Battle it out. Booyah. Hey, all right. Yeah, I'll take that. A nice bow. Man, I love I love finding a ravine. It's kind of the best. All right, let's see. What we, oh wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of zombies. Well, that's not that many zombies, but still a number of zombies. Luckily, I am a Minecraft pro. I know how to take them on. Wow, did I already run out of I I already ran out of torches? That's shenanigans. That is very shenanigans. Uh, let's see. Here's another stack for me. Nice. All right, getting down to a deeper Y level finally. Uh, some sulfur from thermal. I'm not sure that we need that right away. Like I said, being a little picky and choosy about the ores I decided to grab just because inventory stuffs. But there's a lot that we have to deal with that. Um, so how about we do this? I think that's a good wrapping up point for our very first episode. Oh, yay. We've got uh, Tetra. That's another mod we've got. Haha. <laughs> Got Tetra. We will be talking about Tetra. I might I might do Tetra tools, because I've never really given them a solid chance. I usually jump straight for the mining gadget, but I might do Tetra tools first, uh, just to see what they're all about, because they look super cool, and I would really like to give them a solid chance. Uh, so we might do that next episode. Does that sound like a plan? Jump into Tetra? Check out a new mod that we haven't really checked out too well before? I mean, I've a little bit played with Tetra, but not much, and I would really like to see more about it. And I feel like, I feel like, you know, Tetra would be cool to start with as a mining tool, and then, you know, we'll eventually graduate into mining gadgets, but, yeah, we'll do a little bit of uh, checking out new things, not do the same thing I always do, for sure. All right, so let's wrap up here. Uh, we talked about most of the mods in the pack, about half of them, I think. We got to the Js, so we're right around halfway point for mods in the pack, but uh, lots more mods to talk about. Uh, but what we're going to do is come back in, a, in, in episode two. Uh, I will start looking at doing Tetra for uh, mining and doing some stuff. I'll probably do a little bit of mining between episodes to make sure I've got enough resources to really get into Tetra. All right, for now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Hope you guys are excited about the new Dial 20 mod pack. Hope you guys are excited about season 10 of the Let's Play series. Um, and we'll come back in episode two checking out Tetra. All right, guys, take it easy.